I want to share heart breathing with you today. Heart breathing is an awareness that if you understand and you become conscious of, it can really, really affect the way, not only the way that you relate to yourself, because that's equally as important as the way that you relate to the world and the people around you. Um, I feel for me, this heart breathing practice has been so powerful to understand. And I began to notice how much of the energy of my heart is either able to be open or closed. It doesn't change what's happening around us. It doesn't change what's happening inside of us. But what it does is it brings our capacity to relate to and live with whatever's happening inside and whatever's happening outside in so much more of a grounded and empowered and capable way. It upgrades, or if you want, it highlights all of the magical transformational abilities that we actually have inside of us just by shifting the way that we relate or the way that we're aware of what the heart is doing hopefully in a moment to moment basis but it can start with just doing this practice before you go for a jog before you do any yoga asana practice before you sit down in silence for meditation, before you go to a meeting, before you go to do any task, or if you're lucky and you're able to catch yourself in an argument or in a moment where you are upset or triggered, those are the times that it really, really, really shifts the whole atmosphere. And you start to see that the way you are feeling, the way that you're relating with yourself, so. If we bring it to ourselves, it's when we catch ourselves in this sort of spiral of thought. Well, just go back to the heart breathing practice and continue examining or trying to understand or unravel or unpack certain situations. No problem. But you just do them from a different vantage point. Um, and the same is with the outside world. You know, you catch yourself in an uncomfortable situation with somebody or something or in a traffic jam or an argument with your boss or discomfort with your children, a discussion, a really important discussion with someone that you love, you just notice yourself. So bring your awareness back to the heart breathing and continue whatever it is that you're doing. Um, Michael Singer wrote something that I would like to begin this practice with you. He wrote it in chapter six of The Untethered Soul. It's a beautiful book. It's called, the chapter is headed, The Secrets of the Spiritual Heart. And he says, the heart controls the energy flow by opening and closing. This means that the heart, like a valve, can either allow the flow of energy to pass through, or it can restrict the flow of energy from passing through. If you observe your heart, you know very well what it feels like when it's open and when it feels like when it's closed. In fact, the state of your heart changes quite regularly. You can be experiencing great feelings of love while in the presence of somebody until they say something that you don't like. Then the heart closes towards them and you simply don't feel the love anymore. So that's what it is. That's the area of experience. When you're feeling that excitement and that love towards someone and then they say something, that's when your heart's open. They say something that's disturbing or you know, triggering or something and boom, the heart closes. When the heart closes, we're cutting ourselves off from our Shakti, our Ki, our Pranic energy, our life force, our ability to be present and spontaneous and open to the moment. So if you come with me and let's just close our eyes for a moment and 
Take a few inhales through the nose and exhale as if you're sort of dropping something, like you just arrived home and you're dropping your bags on the floor. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth with a dropping idea. One more time. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And then keeping your eyes closed or slightly open, just gently massage the center of your chest a little bit to the left, just to bring the physical awareness to the space of your heart. And then sitting in stillness, keeping your hands here or letting them just drop to the sides. Breathing in and out through the nose now. As we draw the breath in, focus the attention at the area of the chest and allow your chest to sort of move forward and outwards to your shoulders as you inhale. And then as you exhale, just, just draw. And then again, fueling that movement with your inhale, imagining that you're opening the valves of the heart. And as you exhale, just slowly relax. And again, just focusing for the first few breaths on the physical sensation of the chest moving forward, outward, your shoulders, moving outward, the sides of your neck, your jaws expanding. And then as you exhale, relax and release any effort. And do that a few more times, imagining the visualizing of the valves of the heart expanding, opening outwards like the rays of the sun. And as you exhale, that relax and that release, preserve that opening sensation. Inhaling, expanding and exhale, just gently relaxing into that opening. So really let your inhale be cultivating an opening of that entire space of the chest, the valves around the heart. And then we want to take it a little bit further by every inhale. You want to allow your heart to ease forward more. And as you exhale, you'll feel it. Maybe drop back just a tad. So the entire body is going to remain still. And you can even use your hands like I am. But the space of the heart is going to be dancing with the expansion and gentle release of the inhale and the exhale. Let your hands just sink with that inhale and that exhale. And the next little visualization is to bring that whole process all the way into the upper body so that it includes the neck, the jaws, and the forehead. So the entire upper body is gently expanding outwards with the inhale, the heart coming forward, and exhale, it just softens. And while we do this, feeling it on the face all the way to the ears, 
your beautiful little heart coming forward and opening to the shoulders. Feeling the back of the body gently participate in this opening forward. Slowly open your eyes, but continue. Using your hands, if you like, it really helps. And imagine the valves of your physical heart and the shape of your physical body dancing in this way to your breath. And then just for a moment, imagine any strife or worry and place it in front of you. It could be your fear of tomorrow. It could be a fear of a relationship, of friends, of work, whatever. Just choose something and place it in front of you. And imagine you were to tackle this idea or try to relate to that idea or that problem in this frame of mind. So while you were thinking about all the corners and edges of it, you were preserving as much as you could, it's not so easy, but as much as you can of this physical opening. So stay with the physicality of the inhale and the opening. And you will find that when you try this on your own, you will find that you are more able to connect yourself to the wisdom and the intuition of what's around you and what's deep inside of you, rather than if you were to let that practice go and you were to do what we usually do when we encounter a difficulty, which is to do the opposite, which is to close down or remember that comment, something that happens that just slices right through you and serves to close down the energy of the heart and bring you into that one pointed tremor of cutting you off from everything that's around you and within you. And it's such a different way to relate to life. So you can practice that in the silence of your sitting and you can even start to practice it during your day. And I would love to hear your feedback. And I hope that you found it as beautiful and as profound and as helpful for you to suffer less as I did.